in the previous uh, uh, video uh, we have discussed about uh, uh, the introduction of fiber reinforced concrete uh, what are the different types of uh, fibers so in this uh, video we'll be studying the mechanical properties of frc factors affecting the fiber reinforced concrete or factor influencing the fiber reinforced concrete and we'll be studying disadvantages advantages and the applications of fiber reinforced concrete so first we'll start with the mechanical properties of frc uh, in mechanical properties the compressive strength of frc has been readily improved by using the fibers in the concrete matrix it improves the strength by 0 to 15 percent so one percent increase in the fiber content it increases the modulus of elasticity of concrete by 3 percent compared to a normal concrete these are all the comparisons for the normal concrete okay so compressive strength it improves 0 to 15 percent uh, 15 percent more than what we get in the normal compressive strength so if by using uh, fibers it will improve by 15 percent similarly by adding one percent of fiber content in the concrete matrix it increases the modulus of elasticity by three percent addition of four percent of fibers reported that uh, it increases the flexural strength by 2.5 times compared to a normal concrete these are all uh, these uh, statistics is done as per the research based on the research i have taken these uh, uh, values then uh, by adding 3% of fibers uh, uh, in the concrete matrix the split tensile strength will be developed 2.5 times more than that of a uh, normal concrete uh, toughness of the uh, of frc uh, will be improved 20 to 40 times more than that of a uh, normal concrete whereas uh, toughness is the impact load so sudden load uh, whatever the load that we get it takes 40 20 to 40 times more than that of a normal uh, concrete then addition of fibers it increases the uh, fatigue strength about 90 percent and impact strength is 5 to 10 times more than that of a, a normal concrete and it improves the abrasion resistance also then shear strength increases to 100% uh, uh, because of the randomly distributed fibers so it gives good shear friction and also the ultimate strength so shear strength is increased to 100% compared to a normal concrete so use of fibers produce ductility tensile strength moment, moment capacity and the stiffness by using these kind of fibers all the mechanical properties will be improved such as ductility uh, tensile strength moment capacity compressive strength then uh, 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 toughness and stiffness all these properties will be improved by adding the fibers to the concrete matrix so you can see uh, these are all done based on the testing so these are all the cylinders okay so uh, zero percent fiber mix you can see how the uh, cracks have been developed by uh, once the load has been developed once the load is given to the uh, concrete cylinder see how you can see a crack if it is zero percent fiber so 0.25 percent you can see a small hairline cracks similarly 0.5 percent also you can see some uh, cracks there whereas one percent you will not see any cracks okay so even if the cracks is there it is very uh, minute so that is by adding fibers so you can see that there is no cracks in the concrete while doing a testing so that is why uh, we have studied in the initially it is a crack arrester that means it uh, uh, improves the uh, resistance to the cracking by adding fibers to the concrete then when do you, when you are doing a, a, a split tensile strength uh, test so for the tension test you can see how the cracks have been developed for 1% fiber uh, you can see uh, there is no much cracks on the uh, cross section of the uh, concrete cylinder whereas for 0 0.25 and 0.5 you can see some cracks whereas 1 person yes cracks have been developed but it is very uh, light compared to a uh, other three uh, 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 percentages of fibers then uh, impact load has been done so that is uh, by applying a sudden load to a uh, concrete cylinder by uh, throwing a concrete from the top so that acts as a sudden load to the uh, concrete cylinder so first picture at the bottom left it shows for zero percent fiber and for the second uh, the right side you will you can see that it is a uh, uh, cracks have been developed that is 
if you see a first picture the complete block a cylinder have been uh, damaged uh, it is completely broken whereas in the uh, second picture on the right hand side you can see when you give an impact load there will be a small development of a uh, cracks so uh, it can able to resist the uh, uh, impact load next factors affecting the properties of uh, fiber reinforced concrete there are four types of uh, factors that is volume of fibers aspect ratio of the fiber then orientation of the fiber and relative fiber matrix matrix stiffness so first we will study volume of the fiber so volume the strength uh, of the composite largely depend on the quantity of the fibers used in it so if you you saw in one of the in the previous uh, video uh, when i am explaining about the fibers you saw a graph okay so the graph which shows that um, one is uh, without any fiber and the other one was small volume of fibers and the other one was large for volume of the fibers so if you use uh, the large volume of fibers that is the large quantity of fibers in the concrete matrix then the strength of the uh, uh, frc will be uh, will be huge that is the strength of the fiber reinforced concrete will be more so that's why the strength of the concrete matrix depends more on the quantity of the fibers that is used in the uh, matrix then use of higher percentage of fiber is likely to cause segregation that is uh, uh, the disadvantage of uh, using large volume of uh, fibers is it may tend to segregate okay and also it may you may find to uh, difficult you may find it difficult to mix the concrete or the uh, mortar so use of high percentage of fiber is likely to cause segregation and it can develop a harshness uh, while mixing the concrete and the mud means you will be uh, finding lot of difficulty to mix because if you use large volume of fibers uh, in the concrete matrix you will be difficult you will be finding very difficult to uh, get the workability uh, of the concrete mix so that is one of the uh, disadvantages of uh, adding more uh, volume of uh, fibers in the concrete so low volume fraction that is less than 1% uh, we can use uh, uh, in the slab and the pavement so that has a uh, large exposed surface leading to a high shrinkage cracking so if you are using uh, 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 for road pavement or for the uh, slab where the area is more when the area of the concrete exposed is more there you can go for uh, the volume fraction that is uh, uh, quantity of fibers you can use less than 1% of the volume of the uh, concrete mix uh, next if you are using um, for the uh, construction methods like short crete or in the structures which uh, uh, improves capacity against uh, uh, spalling fatigue and all then you can use uh, uh, the quantity of fibers in the range of 1 to 2 percent of the volume of the concrete mix then uh, if the uh, if the uh, fiber percentage is greater than 2% of the volume of the concrete then it can be used in making high performance uh, fiber reinforced composites especially for the uh, if you require high strength or high tensile strength then you can use the fiber uh, uh, greater than 2% of the volume of the concrete mix second is aspect ratio of the fiber so uh, this one i have discussed in the metallic fiber uh, the aspect ratio is nothing but it is the ratio of the length of the uh, fiber to its diameter okay so the uh, another important factor uh, which impl uh, which influences the property of uh, uh, property and its behavior uh, of the fiber is the aspect ratio of the fiber okay so this will uh, influence the properties like uh, uh, it will influence the property as well as it will uh, uh, tells the behavior of these kind of frc uh, uh, aspect ratio of the fiber is one of the important factors so that uh, it shows the property and behavior of the frc so as i already told aspect ratio is nothing but it is a ratio of the length of the fiber to its uh, diameter so increase in the aspect ratio up to 75% there is in uh, relative strength and toughness so in the metallic fiber also i have explained so the aspect ratio should be in the range of 40 to 80 okay so uh, in increase in the aspect ratio up to 75% so there is a, uh, a increase in the relative strength and stiffness beyond 75% of the aspect ratio there is decrease in the uh, uh, there is decrease in the toughness so beyond 75% uh, there will be a, a effect to the uh, mechanical properties of the FRC that's why it should be in the range of uh, uh, 40 to 80 so maximum uh, aspect ratio up to 75 it's fine because it improves the strength and the toughness more than 
सेवेंटी फाइव इट विल डिक्रीज द टफनेस एंड इट लीड्स टू द अदर प्रॉब्लम्स लाइक वर्केबिलिटी इश्यूज एंड ऑल दोज थिंग्स विल बी देयर ओके सो दैट्स वाई इट इट शुड बी इन द रेंज ऑफ फोर्टी टू एटी ओरिएंटेशन ऑफ द फाइबर अलाइंड इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द लोड देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ ओरिएंटेशन अलाइंड इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द लोड दैट इज पैरल टू द लोड सेकेंड वन अलाइंड परपेंडिकुलर टू द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द लोड सो नाइंटी डिग्रीज टू द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द लोड दैट इज द सेकेंड वन थर्ड वन रैंडमली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड फाइबर्स फाइबर्स अलाइंड पैरल टू द अप्लाइड लोड ऑफर्स मोर टेन्जाइल स्ट्रेंथ ओके एंड टफनेस दैन द रैंडमली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड और perpendicularly aligned so if the fibers are aligned parallel to the load uh, then it offers more resistance to the tensile strength as well as more resistance to the toughness uh, compared to the uh, alignment of the fibers in the perpendicular direction or in the randomly distributed uh, uh, direction uh, the if the fibers are aligned in the parallel direction then it gives more strength and toughness to the uh, overall fiber reinforced concrete और तो रिलेटिव फाइबर मैट्रिक्स स्टिफनेस सो द मॉड्यूलस मॉड्यूलस ऑफ एलास्टिसिटी ऑफ मैट्रिक्स मस्ट बी लेस देन दैट ऑफ द फाइबर्स सो दिस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड और इन द अदर वे द मॉड्यूलस एलास्टिसिटी ऑफ द फाइबर शुड बी मोर देन दैट ऑफ द मॉड्यूलस ऑफ एलास्टिसिटी ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स देन लो मॉड्यूलस फाइबर्स इंपार्ट एनर्जी अब्जॉर्प्शन वाइल हाई मॉड्यूलस फाइबर्स इंपार्ट स्ट्रेंथ एंड द टफनेस so if we are using frc in the frc uh, the fibers that has to be used is if, if the fibers is having uh, uh, high uh, tensile strength as well as high modulus of elasticity those kind of fibers can be used uh, uh, in the fiber reinforced concrete nylon on and polypropylene are the low modulus of uh, low modulus fibers so nylon polypropylene and uh, other types of natural uh, fibers they have uh, very low uh, modulus of elasticity but uh, the tensile strength of the uh, uh, tensile strength of those kind of fibers are in the uh, good range whereas the uh, modulus mod modulus of elasticity of the uh, uh, nylons polypropylene or some of the uh, natural fibers are on the lower side high modulus of fibers such as steel glass carbon impart strength and stiffness to the composites that is high modulus elasticity such as the metallic fibers like steel fibers or mineral fibers like glass fiber and carbon fibers uh, and the in the polymeric fibers the aramid fibers uh, fibers they impart good strength and stiffness to the uh, stiffness to the composites whereas the other uh, fibers they impart good tensile strength but uh, their modulus of elasticity value is very much low uh, difference between fiber reinforced concrete and the normal uh, reinforced concrete fiber reinforced concrete possess good durability whereas normal reinforced concrete uh, to maintain durability uh, 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 maintenance is quite difficult in the normal uh, reinforced concrete so that's why it is lower durability uh, protect steel from corrosion here uh, steel potential to corrosion in a normal reinforced concrete there may be chances that the reinforcement get uh, uh, corroded whereas here uh, uh, here uh, the steel fibers it protects the steel from the corrosion lighter materials so here we use a lighter material uh, uh, there we use a heavier material because in the normal reinforced concrete we use the steel bars there in the fiber reinforced concrete uh, we are using a small fibers so it is a lighter material compared to a normal reinforced concrete more expensive and economical as i already told uh, if you want to use steel fibers or glass fibers or carbon fibers in your in the concrete matrix the fibers cost is uh, quite more so that's why it is quite more expensive compared to a normal reinforced concrete where in the normal reinforced concrete it is quite uh, economical compared to a frc uh, with the same volume the strength is greater uh, Uh, with the same volume the strength is less if the same for the same volume of concrete if you compare fiber reinforced concrete and the normal reinforced concrete the strength is greater in frc compared to a uh, strength in the normal reinforced concrete then uh, less workability uh, fiber reinforced concrete is one of the uh, limitations or one of the disadvantages of fiber reinforced concrete why because if you use more volume of fibers uh, in the concrete matrix then there it is very difficult to mix with so so we will not get a proper workability 
whereas normal reinforced concrete as you all know uh, if you take an, if you take care all the manu manufacturing process of concrete you will able to achieve high workability compared to a fiber reinforced concrete advantages so you have studied what are the benefits and all so just i will uh, highlight main role of fibers is to bridge the crack that develops in the concrete so fibers are used to uh, uh, resist the crack that is going to develop in the concrete and to improve the ductility of the concrete elements so by imparting the tensile strength to the concrete it improves the ductility of the concrete elements high modulus of elasticity e value of frc is co more compared to a normal uh, reinforced concrete so here it does not resist uh, it does not get rust or it does not get corroded and requires no minimum cover okay there in the normal reinforced concrete uh, there may be chances that the reinforcement uh, gets corroded or you require some cover spacing there so in fiber reinforced concrete those kind of stuffs are not there so here uh, you are not using any reinforcement so you will not get any rust there and the reinforcement will not get corroded or uh, it requires uh, no cover uh, it controls shrinkage cracking like uh, it controls both plastic shrinkage as well as drying shrinkage cracking then uh, um, if you maintain uh, the aspect ratio that is uh, uh, length of the uh, fiber to the diameter of the fiber if you maintain in the range of 40 to 80 then uh, it in, it imparts good um, uh, properties to the uh, concrete matrix then it can be easily placed cast sprayed and less labor intensive than placing the rebar so in the normal reinforced concrete uh, you require labors to prepare the steel uh, reinforcement cages uh, for column or for uh, uh, beam or for footing you require reinforcement there so uh, you get a lot it means you require a lot of labors there and it is a time intensive as well as labor intensive whereas in normal uh, in the fiber reinforced concrete since we are using we are not using those kind of stuffs so uh, it can be easily uh, done on the site greater retained toughness uh, in the conventional concrete mix so toughness property of frc is more than that of a conventional concrete uh, mixes that we have studied there and it possesses enough plasticity to undergo large deformation so by using these kind of uh, fibers so as already told it improves the ductility of the concrete matrix so it shows enough uh, deformation before it fails uh, just like our uh, uh, test uh, tension test on the mild steel so it shows enough deformation uh, before its failure in the similar way by using frc it shows some uh, large deformations before it going to uh, uh, fail whereas in the normal reinforced concrete it is a brittle material as soon as the load is applied it fails whereas in the frc it is a, a brittle material but by adding the reinforcement the ductility of the uh, material will be improved cost saving of 10 to 30 percent on conventional uh, concrete so uh, fibers is quite costly uh, but if you try to save uh, uh, the cost with the other materials like cement sand and aggregates then we can able to save the cost from 10 to 10 to 30 percent compared to a conventional concrete so these are some of the advantages of frc disadvantages uh, increase in the specific gravity of the concrete because uh, by since we are adding some of the uh, 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 fibers there so the overall uh, uh, specific gravity of the concrete will be imp will be improved or it will be it will get increased because of the uh, because of adding of the fibers the overall specific gravity of the concrete is on the higher side compared to a normal concrete then proportioning the exact amount of fibers in the batch of concrete is quite difficult because uh, we have to make sure that um, the exam exact amount of fibers are required uh, uh, the proportioning of the exact amount of fibers in the concrete mix is very difficult to uh, 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 they very difficult to do because uh, proportioning the same amount of fibers for every batch of concrete is quite uh, a hectic task to do uh, greater reduction of workability as already mentioned by using large volume of fibers it is very difficult to mix the concrete and also concrete will not get the workability in that in that case we have to go with the addition of the super plasticizer in order to get a workability so if you don't add super work, uh, super plasticizer then you will not get a good workable concrete that is one of the uh, disadvantages higher aspect ratio also affect workability if the aspect ratio of the fibers if it is more than uh, 80 or more than 100 then it affects the other properties of concrete as already mentioned it affects the workability uh, of the uh, concrete 
distribution of fibers affect the engineering properties how we are going to distribute the fibers uh, uniformly throughout the uh, cross section it is quite uh, a hectic task because if we don't distribute these kind of fibers uniformly then it will affect the uh, engineering properties of the concrete like workability and strength durability all these aspects will be uh, affected if you if you are not uh, if you are not distributing the fibers correctly applications uh, it is used in the airfields uh, overlaying of the airfields and road pavement uh, bridge decks etc where the area of the concrete is more there we can go for these kind of uh, concretes like uh, laying of the air pavements or uh, air uh, uh, way field that is uh, air fields or road pavements uh, uh, decks etc then it is also used in canal linings tunnel linings and refractory linings then it is used in the precast pipes uh, uh, boats uh, beams in all the precast uh, products uh, precast structural uh, products these kind of uh, frc can be used that is in the wall panel roof panel uh, beams uh, manhole covers all these uh, precast products we can use these uh, this frc uh, in the pre in the fabrication of the precast products then for the blast resistant structures you can go for using the fiber reinforced uh, uh, concrete and in the dams and the hydraulic structures we can uh, use this frc and it is also used for uh, interior and exterior floor slabs so as already told in the first point it is used in the slabs and uh, parking areas roadways etc and it also includes applications in the pool construction uh, foundation drainage uh, and then sidewalks driveways uh, in all these uh, uh, construction activities these kind of uh, fiber reinforced uh, concrete can be used which will improve the compressive strength as well as the tensile strength of the uh, structure so i hope you have understood uh, the fiber reinforced concrete uh, how fiber reinforced concrete uh, uh, technology have been uh, how it is developed then what are the fibers uh, why fibers are used then what are the different types of uh, fibers and what is the mechanical properties of the fibers uh, factors affecting the uh, properties of the frc then um, uh, advantages disadvantages application and the difference between the frc and the uh, normal reinforced concrete i hope uh, you have understood all these concepts thank you